Hey, this is Jordan from Avid here at the booth at NAMM 2019. I'm with Marioso de Jesus, who just did an awesome production breakdown for us at the booth. Um, you know, you were talking uh, in there about um, some of the things that shorten your workflow that help you save time. Um, can you talk a little about how Pro Tools, some of the features, help you with your workflow? Well, definitely. I mean, um, you know, searching for plugins, you know, it's probably one of the things that slows most guys down. So, you know, the, the fact that I can actually just type in the plugin I want and boom, it pops up for me. That's a great thing. Also, you know, um, when I need to make multiple tracks out now, you know, it's, it's easy to just create them. Like, I already know what I want. Instead of like, you know, having to like add one track at a time. No, I can add like a hundred tracks at a time. So things like that, you know, you don't ever want to sh uh, slow down the engineer's workflow because you might slow down the, cre the creative process and you never want to mess with that. Yeah, no, creative process is obviously huge in what you do. Absolutely. And you think, uh, has Pro Tools always kind of been something that, that helps facilitate that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, the idea of when Pro Tools first came out, the idea that I could track, mix, and edit all in one place, you know, as compared to like how we were doing it maybe like 20 years ago, that, you know, we were still using tape machines and it was like, Oh crap, yeah, we're gonna record here. We need to mix using this big console. Oh, we're gonna go edit. Okay, well let me go get a let me go get a razor so we can cut the tape. You know? Yeah. So all of that has kind of been eliminated. So Pro Tools does definitely do that. And, and I, I it's I've been using it for the last uh, you know, fifteen to twenty over fifteen uh, yeah, definitely like twenty years. I, it's, I tend to forget sometimes. You know, but um it's definitely helped uh Help, help do that, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely doing a lot of quicker things than I was, you know, 20 years ago. I'm finishing records, like, turning them around. If I have to recall something, it's a question of just opening up the program and just boom, right there, as opposed to, like, okay, well, let's set up the whole room up, you know, that, that's that's done, you know what I'm saying? So, 50 to 20 years, we love that. What a loyal customer. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, so the the track that you were playing there, um, can you tell us a little about uh, some of your creative process with that specific project? Well, yeah. Um, well, the key thing with that track um, uh, on the creative end was that, you know, like I said, you know, they, I was saying on stage, one of the problems that uh, the artists and the producer were, were having was that there was a sense of that the song was not, it, it wasn't moving, the dynamics, they couldn't sense the dynamics between the verses, between the hooks. So what I did, you know, I helped, you know, felicitate, you know, get that going pretty much. You know, it's, you know, you know, nobody wants to hear just a, a straight, you know, sound like this. No. So, you know, I help you help move the track. Also, you know, making sure that that track had its, uh, a sound to it, a strong sound to it. You know what I'm saying? Especially with all the success that Latin urban music is having and it's becoming so much more popular. Um, with American music, and it's, get, it's getting a lot of comparisons with American music. The last thing I want to do is make it sound less than what an American record is, because I really feel like, hey, you know what? My records need to sound just as that, if not better. So that's the kind of approach I, I'm taking to it. Yeah, that, that's great. Um, so Avid has, uh, I, I think you heard Greg mention it at the end of your presentation, Avid Link. Uh, Avid Link. Yes. Um, what, what do you think of Avid Link? It's our, it's our free new app, and it lets people connect. No, it's really cool, you know what I'm saying? Just I actually just downloaded it today, put it on the phone. So, you know, while, while I was heading over here, and I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of cool, you know what I'm saying? I got to see uh, uh, a few of the guys on earlier. So, you know, you know well, we were right before I got here. So I was like, oh, okay, it's pretty cool. And, well, and it's got the, the lounges and the ways for the different people to, you know, different up-and-coming artists to try and connect to each other and, and that sort of thing. I mean, collaboration is so important for musicians. I think collaboration needs to be, especially in this day and age, it needs to be uh, at the moment and the at the moment in the process. The problem is, you know, before we couldn't be everywhere at the same time. But with this, now we can be everywhere at the same time. You know what I'm saying? You can, oh, hey. I'm looking for a good singer. Whoa, here's there's a couple of them here. Okay, yo, you definitely. Let's let's collab. You know what I'm saying? We link up. We create together. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got Pro Tools, great. I'm sending you the files. You know, get, put your vocals on it. Send it back to me. We can move quicker now. Nice, nice. Um, uh, I just forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> no, you will. Yeah. Uh, oh, so. Um, with Avid Link connecting, like I was saying, up and coming and, and you know, people at different points in their career, what would you tell someone uh, who's just starting out? What's the first thing, the mandatory thing they got to learn to do on Pro Tools? Um, the mandatory thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, just learn how to get, uh, learn how to record in and out of it, pretty much. You know, that's definitely the first thing. You know, you know, it's, it's great if you're a wonderful singer, but 
if uh, you can't record your singing form, if I can't capture your performance in Pro Tools, what good, you know? So definitely learn how to, you know, learn your ins and outs of Pro Tools and learn how to record with it first. What other um, just advice would you have for people who are like seeing what you're doing and really, you know, want to know how to get started? Uh, I would say the first thing to really want you really want to do is uh, learn how to use your ears. You know, the program is only as good as your ears are. So you you have to hear what you're doing. You have to know what you want to do, uh, and don't be afraid to uh, to experiment. You know, there are no rules here. The only you know. And the rules that are supposedly here, they're, they're made for you to break them. I like that. That's great advice. This is Jordan at Avid, uh, at the Avid booth here at NAMM 2019 with Marioso de Jesus. Get on down here so you don't miss anything else. And if you missed his presentation, it'll be available at avid.com NAMM next week. Thanks.